Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to take you on a tour of the Norwegian Prima. So just bear in mind as we show you around, this isn't a traditional looking cruise ship, it's certainly different looking to any of the ones that we've been on before, but let me just tell you that if you embrace that as soon as you step on board and just, you know, enjoy things that are different, because life would be boring if all cruise ships look the same, I can guarantee that you will have a great time because this really is a wonderful and beautiful ship. So let's go and show you that. Right, so we're gonna start you off on deck six and this is inside one of the levels of the atrium on board the ship. Now on this deck you've got the Penrose Bar, your Cruise Next desk and some shops in here. Now like I said at the beginning, the NCL Prima isn't your traditional looking cruise ship and you know it's obvious when you first walk on the ship on embarkation and you step into the atrium it probably might look a bit different to other cruise ships that you've been on before but I have got to say probably my favourite atrium out of any of the cruise ships that we've been on it's just there's always an atmosphere in here the Penrose bar I've just pointed out behind there's always entertainment going on there it's just a really cool nice atmosphere throughout your cruise and also just here as well just in this area you have um games going on like i always forget what it's called the cornhole yes the games are because obviously we're, when we're filming this we've been to iceland and norway so it's been a bit of a colder cruise so some of the games that are probably be outside if you're on a warmer cruise have been brought into the atrium but as you can see behind there there's plenty of space for all that to go on and then just after the atrium you've got the casino this has to be the biggest casino on a ship we've ever seen it's got all your slot machines all your typical tables if you're into that it's been very busy in there it's a huge casino you'll find something you will like so just at the back of the casino now it's kind of hidden away so you do have to kind of find it is the belvedere bar this bar is really nice it's all gold and it feels so like classy it feels like a james bond kind of bar and as you can see at breakfast time they do serve uh, teas and coffees and juices and a couple of pastries as well because like i say we have come to do this very early and then also in this area, you've got the Cagney Steakhouse. This is your specialty steakhouse. So if you're after any of those delicious steaks or any big meaty items, come here for your steaks. So this behind me is the Commodore room. So this is one of two of your included main dining rooms on board the ship. So I think for me personally, I prefer the one that we're gonna show you after the second one, which is Hudson's, um, just because as you will see, it offers nicer views of the ocean if that's your thing but this is a nice small and intimate one okay so we're starting deck seven now and we've come into the prima theater but you may also see it called the prima club and we'll explain why in a minute but this is on deck six seven and eight but we thought we'd just cover it on deck seven to be easy so the theater in here is the most mixed theater we've ever seen they, they use it for so many things so in the day they use it for talks they use it for um as a cinema now at night this is when it really comes alive so at night time they've got all different acts on they've got their donna summer show on they've got uh, external acts they've got comedians and magicians on they've also got singers and stuff going on here so it's a mix you stage now there's so much stuff that moves about in here it's crazy the stage can move oh they've got prices right in here if you are on one of these cruises and you see prices right watch it that main screen lifts up they've got all the plinkos and all the proper prices right games it's amazing now these seats may look thin and you think they're not going to be very comfortable they're actually all right but they're thin for a reason that's because all of these seats move inwards and then it becomes a disco so that's when it's the prima club so at night they have uh, discos in here they have what they call their white party that they don't call a white party anymore so it's all in here this is all going here it's a really cool space and you are allowed to bring drinks into this theater they do have uh, a weighted bar service and at night when it becomes the club and all the seats move in they bring in two bars as well so you have there's bars on the outside but they actually bring two bars inside it's really cool so everybody gets the most of their drinks package in this club so deck seven now in the atrium so this is another lovely space in the ship 
on one side over there you've got timeless luxury so it's another watch and jewelry shop there's many of those on this ship then next to that you've got guest services on onboard credit so any problems you can come here and sort them out then you've got gateway we'll get to that bit in a minute then you've got the seating area here just in front of the starbucks this is one of two starbucks on board the ship uh, and then just to the left of that in the corner is what they call the connect internet cafe it's not like a proper internet cafe i think it's basically where you go if you're having problems with your internet for your phones or your laptops etc and i think they might be able to print you stuff off as well so don't think of it as a normal internet cafe with computers you can use it's not that big and then just over the other side you've got the shore excursions desk so if you want to book any or you've booked any etc etc this is the area to come and just to point out just behind the starbucks there is some really comfy seats with a beautiful view of the ocean or even a port if you've not got off that day so make sure you check over there if you want a really nice view and then this is the gateway so this is just a corridor here with like i said a lot more jewelry shops and more watch shops they've also got very high-end bags as well and it's also the start of the art gallery as well but we're going to show you something a bit more important right now so this is Sid Norman's poorhouse this is a really cool intimate venue so for a ship that holds 3100 as you can see this is quite small so any of the shows bands that you see performing in here make sure just a little tip make sure you're queuing about half an hour 45 minutes um, before each starts just because like i said there is minimal uh, seating in here and again this is kind of like a multi-use venue they show movies in here on the screen in the daytime they have games in here we actually played one where we had to um, guess the song off the lyrics and that did result in us having to stand up and sing into a microphone yeah that was uh, embarrassing but try it out if you're on board the ship because it's fun to play these games and like i said before uh, they have bands playing in here as well which are amazing so make sure you check them out and then just across from sid norman's port house you've got the improv no don't be confused by this it's nothing to do with the periodic table you won't have to get your bunsen burners out it's actually another little multi-use venue in the day they've got little games going on quizzes and stuff like that at night they've got karaoke they've had other kinds of entertainment on we're not 100 percent sure they haven't done it on this cruise if they're meant to have comedians on we've been called the improv but there haven't been any on whilst we've been on board and then also in this area you've got the art gallery and the art gallery office so if you're interested in buying any of these pieces of art or they also have like guess the weight games of some of the pieces of art some of the sculptures more not so much the paintings but if you're interested in buying any of these this is the area of the ship to come to so just after the art gallery you've got the metropolitan it's another little bar area at night it's very dark in here it's not normally this light but yeah in the day they've got quizzes going on and bits like that then at night they've got a, a singer on or a couple of singers going on so there is entertainment going on in here it's always really busy then just here to the left is the humidor cigar lounge i did just pop in uh it's really really s smelly in there it should just be a cigar lounge but people are smoking normal cigarettes in there as well the ashtrays are full of them so it should just be cigars they do sell them in there but people have been using it for just normal cigarette smoke which it does say you can't do right so just up from the metropolitan bar now you've got a few restaurants so one of those is nama which is a specialty restaurant a sushi specialty restaurant and then just the other side you've got hasuki which is another specialty restaurant and that is the teppanyaki one that looks really cool inside by the way so the third restaurant they've got here is one of the included main dining rooms so we've already shown you the commodore so this one is the hudson's i would say that out of the two this is definitely the best one if you want those really nice ocean views it's situated right at the back of the ship it's got floor to ceiling glass windows and it just offers those incredible views because even though the commodore is at the back as you could see it was the it was the round windows it doesn't offer those sea views the same as the hudson so just here now is le bistro this is your french specialty restaurant it's very glamorous in there it's got your three huge chandeliers that take up quite a lot of space in the restaurant because they are massive 
and they are floor to ceiling. What we like about the specialty restaurants on board the Premier is they're all their own area. So they're all like a proper restaurant. Whereas some ships now, they're part of the atrium and anybody can walk through, whereas these ones you can't. So that's a nice touch. And also another good thing is most all these specialty restaurants are part of your uh, free at sea as well. So that's a really good touch as well. That's one of your one or two free specialty restaurants, including that package. Right, okay, so we've started on deck eight now. We are at Indulge Food Hall. This is another one of your included food areas. We personally think this is a great area to ship. Uh, we've never seen this on any other ship we've been on. It's like an order system at your table. They bring you to you. So we have done a full video of this that breaks down everything. Uh, this so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, it's a shame because we've been on this like Icelandic Norway cruise. At the back, they've got a great outdoor area with a bar as well, loads of nice big seats and all that lot. So we haven't been able to utilize that because it's been raining quite a lot. So that's another great area. And another bit as well, when you walk in on this right hand side at night, have a look at the two big tandoori ovens. They're making naan breads in the day, they're doing chicken tikka. So if you're interested, Keep an eye out on that. Oh, and also quick, just to mention, this is where the second Starbucks is located on board the ship as well. Right, so just behind me now, you've got the local bar and grill. So this is another included restaurant on the ship. We have done a food review video on that. If you want to check it out in more detail, see what food is on offer there. So there's two parts to it really. This behind me is like the main restaurant part of it. So, you know, proper tables things like that and then the other side is more of like the bar area so you can sit literally at the bar and have your breakfast lunch or dinner or you know there's seating you know there's high bar stools if you want to watch sports on the big screen and have a few snacks in there they've also got them weird swingy seats as well you could sit on a weird swing seat and have your chicken wings in there if you like go for it and then just opposite the restaurant part of the local bar and grill you've got another specialty restaurant and this is the Mexican one Los Lobos but how cool are all the little figures in like the black boxes with the lights on so yeah I always every time we go to the local bar and grill which we've been a lot I love looking at the little figures in this box because they just look really cool and then next to the local bar and grill so this first part of this kind of corridor is your photo gallery so this is where you can come and get any photos that you've had taken throughout your cruise or even you can buy a camera and binoculars and stuff like that if you'd like and then just after the photo gallery area of this corridor you've got the tech at sea bit so if you want a new smartwatch or a razor or some head new headphones or even you've just lost the cable to your phone you can come here and buy any of those things and then this area of the ship called the zone honestly if you like what some may call a bargain we'd probably call tat come here because they have different offers on for the day buy buy four get one free on scarves and all different crazy things but they have loads of little offers on here so pop down here if you like to buy stuff so this is a nice touch here on the ship so they've got a big champagne bottle and it's just celebrating when they launched the Prima back on august the 27th 2022 and then just behind me there it's very very small so it may not pick up on the camera but they've got a list of every uh, Norwegian cruise ship and the godmothers of those ships so I think the one for the Prima I believe is Katy Perry but they haven't got a picture of Katy Perry every other cruise ship we've been on they've always got a picture of whoever christened it yeah I'm surprised they don't have a picture of it because she is a big star but maybe she wanted to charge more to have her photo up maybe <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yeah but yeah normally they have the photo but they haven't got one of Katy Perry we can stick one up if you like, it makes you feel better, Kev. Okay. Yeah, so this is the top deck in the atrium now, on deck eight. Just to point out, over here we've got your lifestyle shop. Now it's a bit of a weird shop, so it sells Pandora, but then this is where you'd come for a very limited selection of toiletries, and this is where they sell a few clothes, and this is where you would come to get, like, sweets or their NCL Teddy. So it's very small, it's a bit random. It's, it's a finicky shop there but then next to that you've got this perspective studio so this is where you would come if you want like your high-end photos and stuff done like that so if you're interested in like the high-end fancy photos come to there and then just across the other side is the whiskey bar and then just next to the whiskey bar in the atrium as well you've got under by 
Scarpetti. Don't know if I'm saying that one right. This is your Italian specialty restaurant. It's a very nice looking restaurant as well. And they do have outdoor seating for here. So if you're on one of them warm weather cruises, or if, even if you're on a cold weather cruise like us and you desperately want to eat outside with a hat and scarf on, you could do so. Right, so outside on deck eight now. So I think they call it the Ocean Boulevard. So it is a promenade deck, a, a wraparound deck. So you can go all the way around it. Now, either side, they have got a an infinity pool, so that's really cool. We had fun in there one day whilst looking out at Olden in Norway. It's also got, which we haven't been able to make use of, because like we said, we have been on a, a colder cruise, but it's got lovely outdoor seating areas, really nice cosy chairs, which just means we'll have to come back on for a warmer a warmer cruise and make use of them. Then also either side, he's got the glass um, walkway, so you can literally loop down. If you're not scared of heights or anything like that, you can loop down and literally the ocean is underneath you. So if you want those nice, Instagrammy shots, you can take them on there. And also as well, which I think is really cool, and it means you don't have to buy one in one of the gift shops, because like Kev said, they do sell them in there. They have binoculars, which are, you don't have to pay to use. So, you know, if you're out in the ocean and you hear someone shout, I think there's a whale over there, go and check it out on one of the binoculars and have a look. Right, so decks nine to 15 on this ship are all cabins so we'll see you now up at deck 16 and show you what's from there upwards right okay so deck 16 now we are by the mandara spa and salon so this is where you can come for any of your beauty treatments any spas they've got a hairdressers a barbers you can get your nails done so if you're into all that kind of stuff it's a really nice spa they've got um you have to walk all the way through the spa to get to the gym the gym is a uh, got really nice views from the front of the ship as well i always said the gym should have been turned into a bar another bar because they've got the best views on this ship and there's only one other bar with those views which we will show you after but yeah it's a really nice area of the ship check out your your daily activity sheet for any discounts and stuff like that if you're interested in spa treatments and then pretty much the rest of deck 16 we can't show you because it's mostly haven stuff lounges and restaurants and stuff which us commoners can't sadly show you so we will see you next on deck 17. so we'll just mention these touch screens as well because these are dotted about all over the ship so if, if you need to know where you are on the ship or where something is you want to look at some entertainment experiences know about spa know about the casino all the different bits like that read your freestyle daily because you've left yours in your cabin and you haven't got your phone to check the app just come and touch one of these screens and It'll tell you everything you need to know about the ship. So starting on deck 17, now we're gonna show you the observation lounge. So this is a really nice area right at the front of the ship offering those amazing sea views. They've got the big glass windows. Now it's not the widest, it's quite narrow, but there is two entrances and you can literally walk all the way around. It is quite long and you've got, you know, all your comfy chairs in there so you can sit back chill out and like I said just look out at that sea. We often go in there and have a game of cards, we like doing that in there. Now they do at breakfast time offer um, a few snacks in there, croissants, things like that, just grab and go pieces and then the same in the afternoon they do a little kind of afternoon snacks. They have also got a bar in there as well if you want to go in and grab a drink. And next to the observation deck is the Galaxy Pavilion. This is a really cool area of the ship, as you can see by the tunnel here leading into it. So this is your VR area of the ship. Now, everything is paid for, so don't come into this thinking, oh, it's all free. We do explain everything in our like fun things to do video, but there's loads of VR machines. They've got this uh, golf experience as well. They've got a couple of escape rooms. So if you're into all that kind of stuff, this is the area of the ship for you. So this is your main pool area on the ship. This is your one and only proper pool, okay? So it may seem a bit dark, but this just proves how early we do these ship tours. Uh, you've got a screen here. They do have some entertainment here, like on embarkation day, they have bits going on there. And then just past there is your wave water slide. That's like a big ring slide where you go up the side and come back down. Just over there, you've got one of two hot tubs. There is another one behind me as well. You also have the waves pool bar. So this is just by the Surfside Cafe. And then there's the other hot tub there. 
it, like I say, it is still six o'clock, so nothing is out. There is no sunbeds, but we, I will put some clips on now what it looks like with the sunbeds out. And you may be thinking, that pool looks a little bit rough for my liking. Well, that's nothing. If you want to see rough, then this is rough. Right, so just behind me now is the Surfside Cafe and Grill, which is the buffet on board of the Norwegian Prima. There is outdoor as well as indoor seating. Now, some do say the buffet on here is quite small. Is that going to impact the quality of the food? Well, we have got a buffet video on that if you want to go and check it out. But yeah, it is quite small. But I mean it's a nice area like say this outdoor seating here is nice you've got some nice views of the ocean So the first section when you walk in is the Surfside Cafe and then just right at the back You've got a small section which they class as the Surfside Grill Right so just behind me now are two of these speciality restaurants just to my left is Food Republic, which is like a Asian style restaurant. And then just over my right shoulder is Palomar, which is your fish restaurant on board the ship, speciality restaurant. Now they do tend to use Food Republic as well for additional seating for breakfast and lunch. Um, they use it as part of the Surfside Cafe and Grill. So if the seating in the buffet gets busy, then they'll let you sit in there but for breakfast and lunch. If they do, if they are doing that, they'll put a sign up in the buffet to state that there is additional seating at that time in there. Right, so lastly on deck 17, you've got the Vibe Beach Club. Now that's um, like a pay for extra if you want to pay for it, have like a private area. But as you can see, it is all open. So again, because we've been on a colder cruise, it's not something that would have been value for money for us. But if you know you're on a nice Caribbean cruise on board this ship, you know, if you want to get away from maybe the busyness of the main pool and have something a bit more private, it's got a bar down there. There's a couple of hot tubs either side. So yeah, it's just a more, you know quieter experience shall we say and this is at the very back of the ship yes it's right. not at the front of the ship like some ships have them so yeah you'd have to think about it if you were you, you wanted to do it to see something yeah you're at the back not the, the back. front yeah, yeah not the front because uh, yeah we've done one on maybe another crew i know on other cruise ships we've done one and seen them and like i've said they've been right at the front so yeah this one is right at the back so starting deck 18 now we are at the back just above the vibe beach club and this is the prima speedway bar so it's a really nice bar area here with wonderful views of the back of the ship obviously it's o overlooking the vibe uh, beach club there but it's got great views but with us being on a cold weather cruise nobody's been using this i don't even think it's been open to be honest with you and then just to the left of that is one of your three dry slides this is the drop this is my personal favorite uh, but if you want to look more into these kind of things we have done a things to do video so we go into more detail about all the slides and stuff on in that video and then just past the drop slide this is tea time crazy golf unfortunately whilst we've been on board this has been under refurbishment so we've not been able to play this but it looks a really cool really fun uh, crazy golf it looks like you have to interact with a few of the holes there's a jukebox one down there and other ones so it looks a really fun crazy golf but unfortunately we haven't had a go and then just also on this side you've got the bullseye darts um little area you have to pay for these areas of the ship you get your own private dartboard and your own little area. There's about three or four of them down there. So if you're really into darts, it might be something for you to look at. Now we're just on the other side of the Speedway bar and this is the Rush. This is your two other dry slides. These ones don't drop like the drop does. And just to be warned, you might get stuck in these ones. Not stuck where they have to come down and rescue you but they are pretty slow if you've been on them leave us a comment below see if you got stuck like i did and have an ab workout like your life depended on it because again in the things to do on the prima video um kev went on them didn't you and you did say you've got to have uh, you, you gave your stomach muscles a workout you've got to have good because, core strength yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. You had to shuffle uh, you had to shuffle down so that's why i didn't go on so this is a really cool area now the stadium so there's lots of little fun games in here these are all included by the way 
Um, you've got shuffleboard, you've got ping pong, you've got a crazy version of ping pong where it's in a big tube and it can bounce from all directions. You've got a pickleball stadium, a football table, you can play beer pong, there isn't any beer in there, but we've loved playing that, me and Kev. You can chuck it, you just chuck the little ping pong balls into the plastic cups. I win at that. So yeah, it's a really fun area. You can just come up here and, you know, just play at your own leisure. Or they do um, have organised events as well. So they might have a beer pong competition or a ping pong competition and you can play your fellow guests. And one thing I will just mention is it's open up here and it <laughs> it is windy and freezing cold. Yeah, so just bear in mind if like, again with us sometimes, because we've been on a colder cruise, we've come up for play and it's like, no, or we've had to go put his big coats on because like you say, it is, it is a bit open. So what we'll do now is uh, instead of showing you the, the little bit of deck 18 that's left, whilst we are here, we will go up and show you the viewing platform for the go-karts. So this tiny area here, is deck 19 this is part of your viewing platform for the go-karts so as you can see they're all covered up there these are in our things to do video these are a really fun experience but you do have to pay for these so do be aware and then just above deck 19 this is technically deck 20 this is just another viewing area for the go-karts this is all open so you may hear the wind but just to let you know they do have two go-karts that you could if wanted come and just test fit them see if, if they're a comfortable fit for you but it is very cold and you do have if you want to a little uh, podium there so as you can see Stacy oh Stacy's gonna run up there she uh, she is not Lord, of course. she is not Nicholas Seville who got a 52 second lap who? <laughs> whoever's behind you on that big screen <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so this no. <laughs> so this is technically deck 20 and then just behind Stacy as well they've not had them out while we've been on they do have little guns that you can shoot the go-karts with to slow them down and maybe speed them up as well yeah they've not been going while we've been on so yeah we've not been able to experience that because we would like to stand up here and shoot <laughs> some strangers with lasers okay so we're on deck 18 now we come over the other side this is the sun deck and little kids aqua park now, like we said, it's early and it's very windy, so most of the chairs up here are strapped down. But this is another nice area here, more deck chairs. When this is turned on, it's like a little kid's aqua park. It's not, a, it's not like a pool, but all these have got like water jets trickling down and the kids can just run through if it's nice and warm, just cools them down. Or even if you're a big kid, maybe you can cool down a bit. But yeah, normally I'll put some clips on. There's all sun decks, chairs here and stuff. There's a photo spot over here. Don't know what this is. It's not worked most of the time. So if you've done it, leave us a comment down below. What does it actually do? So we're on deck 19 now, just above where I showed you. And this is basically the wave water slide. So they've only got one water slide, but they've made it a good one. So you might see two tubes here. And I got confused the first time thinking there was two water slides. This first one with this big white uh, cover on one end is where they bring the tubes up. And next to that is your tube slide that takes you to this. This is so cool. I mean, we've been on water slides on uh, other ships before, but never ones like this where you go up the big bank. It's a really cool water slide. And just to let you know, they do have more sun lounges up here normally as well. So it's another good area of the ship to come up if you want to find another sun lounger. So there you go. There's a tour of the Norwegian Premier. We just hope it gives you an idea if you are coming on this ship, you know, just of what to expect layout wise. Um, if you have been on this ship, let us know what you thought of it in the comments below. Like I said at the beginning, it is, um, it's certainly a unique looking ship, but if every cruise ship you stepped on looked the same i think that'd be pretty boring we love the ship we think it's uh, very nice and we definitely like to come on it again in a definitely for a warmer cruise anyway but like i said let us know in the comments below what your thoughts of the ship were if you have been on board so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye